These are eight signs from the universe that you will make it in life. Abundance life. Everyone, I'm glad you could join me for another video. You are not some sort of isolated entity cut off from the rest of the world. You have strands of the cosmos woven throughout your whole being, and via these connections, the cosmos can speak to you. The first theory proposes that we're all on our own here in a society where everyone looks out for number one and has to take care of himself. We think that, like Atlas in mythology, we must carry the burden of the world on our own, without guidance or instruction, since doing so is vital to what it is to be human. This concept holds that there isn't enough of a good thing to go around. Thus, people must compete, fight for it, and hoard it. The second view holds that we are all spiritually interconnected, even though our egos may feel isolated from one another. We have a fundamental unity and may always turn to one another for advice. In whatever form it appears, a guardian angel, a totem animal, a deceased relative, or even a fortunate series of events, this guidance is a message from your higher self or the divine. Furthermore, there is always enough good to go around since the divine is the source of all plenty. You have likely come into contact with several signals throughout your life, but you may not have always understood what they meant. Here are signs that the cosmos is trying to tell you something. What language do the cosmos speak to us in? Most people are shocked to realize that the universe is everywhere, showing itself even in the smallest of things. As long as we keep our hearts and minds open, we may receive guidance, wisdom, and love from the divine at any time. To understand the universe's message, you need not subscribe to any one religion or spiritual philosophy. In fact, there are moments when you'll benefit more from having no expectations or biases about how the universe should convey its messages to you. Misguided beliefs that divine revelation can only occur through supernatural phenomena have a chilling effect on people's ability to hear from on high. The holy, however, is present in both the exceptional moment and the ridicule and dullness of everyday life. Messages from the cosmos may be found anywhere. 1. Unexpected nudges occur at the most opportune moments along the same path. Sometimes the universe will send you little signs that you're heading the correct direction. Sometimes what seems like a misstep turns out to be a push that leads you directly to your destiny. Were you about to tie the knot with someone until an old flame gave you a shove, and you realized you still love them? Were you debating where to settle down and considering a move to Spain before you were abruptly rerouted to Argentina due to travel delays? This whole series of events illustrates how the cosmos leads us to our fullest potential. Number two, you come upon a synchronicity's experience. The concept of synchronicity, which refers to significant coincidences, was first proposed by Carl Jung. The causal connecting principle bridges the gap between cause and effect by linking thought and physical reality. It's significant to the individual experiencing or seeing the synchronicity. Some synchronic instances are shown below. You're humming along to the radio when the tune you're thinking about comes on unexpectedly. This is most definitely a happy time for you, but don't lose sight of the synchronicity. When we watch a film or TV show, we get a sense of immersion as if we are witnessing a reflection of our own lives, and we learn things about ourselves that we may not have otherwise learned. You're talking on the phone when you get a call from your targeted target. Three, visions and dreams. Your higher self will communicate with you on a regular basis through your dreams. The energy, feelings, and insights that come from these dreams of the higher self are often much beyond what we normally gain through lucid dreaming. Start maintaining a dream journal if you have a stretch of emotionally resonant dreams. When you wake up from a dream, jot down the details in the dream journal you keep by your bed. One possible problem you may have with higher self messages is that they are typically cryptic and quite baffling, especially if they come to you in dreams. Journaling about these messages is helpful since answers often present themselves as you write. Four, music. The power and grace of music inspire you to keep moving forward. The cosmos is always happy to provide us with guidance and reassurance through its universal language of music. You can listen to hundreds of songs without registering any of them, but then one will come along that will blow your mind. The music, words, and atmosphere take you away. The music is out of this world. In other words, it's more than merely singing along. 
you tend to sing along to a specific melody. A true cosmic response to your current route is being reflected in the music you're playing with. 5. Odd ideas. Sometimes it might feel as though someone else is controlling your mind and dictating your internal monologue. Perhaps this is a sign from your true self. A word of advice. If you're grappling with an unfamiliar idea, it's important to give yourself time to reflect on it. Especially if your internal monologue starts acting strangely. 6. The numbers are overwhelmingly in your favour. The practice of numerology is often dismissed as superstition, although there may be some truth to the theories behind it. The cosmos may be trying to tell you something when you keep seeing the same weird numerical sequences. Think about the number 44, or notice the number 8 popping up frequently. So, what does this imply exactly? Maybe 44 was your home number growing up, and it's a symbol of how your family supports your decision to care for your elderly parents by being by their side more often. Perhaps the number 8 was your jersey number on the ice, and it's a sign from the hockey gods that you should pursue a professional career in the sport. The numbers in the cosmos are there to reassure and direct you. Just be on the lookout for them. 7. The forces of nature are aided by spirit guides that have been sent by Mother Nature. Animals have been revered as shamans and totems since prehistoric times. The appearance of fearsome beasts like jaguars, lions, crocodiles and falcons, whether in a dream or in real life, might signal a variety of cosmic messages. It might be the Cosmo communicating to you through an unusual animal if you have an attraction to or encounter one. Although the significance of one's animal totem varies from culture to culture, this introduction to animal spirit and symbolism might help you understand the meaning behind your own totem. 8. The power of words that move your soul clear. A life can be altered by one beautiful poem. Reading a particularly moving book at a pivotal moment can alter a life's trajectory. Given that the cosmos might use either written or verbal language to convey its message to you, this is the case. The symbols and noises we use to convey meaning are rich with meaning. Sun thoughts flash briefly in and out of our consciousness. Others stick around and make themselves known, revealing the truth and offering guidance through the forms and sounds they take. The best chances of success are the ones you take when you least expect them. Sometimes we need to lose sight of the road before we can see it clearly. Beautiful logic may be found in even the most chance-based adventure. Just when we think all hope is lost, we stumble across a place, a community, or a circumstance where our talents and skills may flourish and grow, and where we can create something new. Accepting pain and a pessimistic outlook frequently serve as the impetus for all of this. When we give up trying to change or suppress our current negative emotional or mental state, we merge with the whole and become part of it. The cosmos then communicates its response by pointing us toward our destined path. Make a choice that has nothing to do with how you really feel on the inside. Fleeting emotions like happiness, sorrow, rage or worry often influence people's choices. The problem is that these feelings fluctuate. The cosmos directs us by giving us the wisdom to look beyond fleeting emotions for direction. The feeling is more of a subdued conviction than an emotional state. Making decisions based on how you're feeling at the moment is a terrible framework, yet it's one that many people use. The opinions of others no longer bind you. As social beings, it is human nature to be self-conscious in front of others. When we were younger, especially as adolescents, the impact of peer pressure was substantial. However, the scrutiny and pressure from the outside world lose its appeal as we mature and go off on our paths. We take them at face value and go on. Knowing you are on the right path and being able to ignore doubts and criticism from within are two of the universe's most reliable signs. You've arrived at the perfect destination. We've discussed some cosmic clues that you're on the right route, but if you want a really customized analysis of your situation and where it's headed, you'll need to look within. They can advise you on the best course of action and may also reveal your fate. I genuinely hope that this video was informative for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.